Hi, my name is Jake Brockwitz. This is a quick screencast to show you how the client side validation module can enhance the user experience on your web forms. I'm going to show you the out of the box validation experience. Um, this is provided from Core, and I'm going to scroll down. I'm in Chrome, and you get these little messages for required fields. Now, this is HTML5 validation, which you can disable. Um, it varies from browser to browser, and it's not consistent. And one of the benefits of the client-side validation module is it creates a consistent user experience for all your validation. I'm going to go over to the page and just show it to you, this client-side validation, and this is what we're going to get when we enable this module. So I'm going to jump back. I'm going to hit extend. Enable. You also have to enable the jQuery library. So while this is running around, running in the background, I wanted to kind of discuss this is client-side validation. Technically speaking, someone could disable client-side validation by turning off JavaScript, and then they could maliciously submit data. This is something you need to take into consideration when you're relying on client-side validation. At the same time, most of these forms are applications or registrations. If someone submits bad data, the general scenario is you ignore the data. And I recommend installing a spam protection module like Capture or Honeypot. And the module's been installed, so I'm going to move ahead, and I'm just going to show you the experience. It's really a simple thing. What I really love about this module is it just works out of the box. You install it, turn it on, all your forms site-wide get this client-side validation. Without even going and showing you any configuration, you've immediately improved the user experience of your site. And these are all stylable, and you can get in here, and then it pushes the focus in. It's all a reusable jQuery library that everyone's using. I strongly recommend you use the client-side validation module to enhance the user experience. Do keep in mind it is client-side validation only. Technically speaking, in some cases, you should use server-side validation, especially if you don't want someone to tamper with the data and that can cause unexpected results. Thanks for your time. I hope this helps.